Uh, first thing you got to understand in the workplace, uh, not just in the workplace, but in life in general, most uh, people, especially of other demographics, don't see you as a living, breathing human being with complexities and nuance. Uh, they try to put you into categories. In the workplace, they put you into the angry black male category or the pushover uh, nerd square category. And so what they're trying to do is establish which one you are. Um, it doesn't take much for you to go into the angry black male category. I'm going to tell you that off rip. Uh, just being quiet, staying to yourself, they're going to put you in that category. Um, even if you are uh, polite and courteous, just just the fact, um, you have to understand that when black men do certain things, the, the perception is, is a lot different. Uh, that's The perception is one of guilt. So um, what you do implies a certain guiltiness to it. So if you're quiet, they don't assert it. They don't assign that to shyness or introverted. They assign that to seriousness and um, kind of angriness. So once they see that you are that type of person, they're going to categorize you in the angry black male category and they're going to proceed uh, acting as such. So they're going to proceed very cautiously for no reason. Um, they're going to spread rumors like, oh, stay away from him. He, I don't know, he might be crazy, you know, things like that. And um, so, yeah, they're going to, it's going to be a situation. You're going to feel that energy, even though they might be uh, somewhat friendly or cordial with you at certain times, you're going to feel that that distrustful energy. And if you are, you know, the, um, the other type, they're really going to push your boundaries. Um, they're going to test you. Um, they're going to poke fun at you and then they're going to say it was just a joke if you say anything about it. Um, they're going to invite you to a lot of things and, and try to make you like the center of attention, try to make you the, the court jester type of character, like come here to entertain us, boy. And so you don't want to fall into that category. And like the guy said in the video, we do, for the most part, draw the line between um, both spectrums. We don't want to be too aggressive and too assertive and angry, but we also don't want to be a pushover and be a joke. So, um, but I'm saying that what is going to solve this uh, is going to be, I would say, lean more towards the the serious side. And once you lean towards that side, you have to be good at your job. You have to be great. You have to be irreplaceable at your job, and that will alleviate all of the um, the perceptions they have, all of the uh, the reticence to deal with you. You have to be. A resource for others and you have to be extremely good at your job and that will alleviate some of that uh, mistrust that they have uh, for a serious black man so um, you have to perform at such a high level if you're gonna be like that and if you're going to be the other way uh, it really doesn't matter how you perform because they just want to keep you around for the fish for shits and giggles so um, but they will get rid of you you know if, if you if you step out of line in a way you know that they don't like or they see fit you joke too much so but i would say lean more towards the serious side be there to handle business and um if you lean that way you have to be uh tremendous at your job so take that into consideration all right appreciate you watching appreciate you listening